I'm Aaron Franzine with IDI Distributors. Now, we all know how optimizing your spray foam equipment settings and processes impacts your profit. Today, we are talking about Delta T, what it is, how it works, and what you can do to control it. So first of all, what is Delta T? Delta T is measuring the difference of temps between two points. In spray foam, that's your drums and your gun, all right? So how it works, an example of Delta T, if chemical in your drums is at 70 degrees and you're able to maintain a temperature of 120 at your gun, we would call that a 50 degree Delta T. Now, there are two impactful variables that you can control on your rig to help manage Delta T and its impact. And that is your flow rate and that's your drum temperature, okay? So let's just take two common tip sizes, an O1 chamber and an O2 chamber, all right? Very common in the field. An O1 chamber, you're gonna be around a gallon a minute, just over one gallon per minute of flow rate. In O2 chamber, you're gonna be just under two gallons, right around two gallons, maybe a little bit less. So the more flow rate that your tip is able to flow, the more impact Delta T is gonna play on your system. You have your heater and with more flow rate, that material is spending less time in your heater, which is reducing your Delta T drastically and probably affecting your yield. If you were to graph this out, you would see a curve like this. And on the vertical axes, that would be your delta T, and the horizontal axes would be your flow rate. And as your flow rate increases, your delta T decreases. Now, the second thing that you can impact in regards to delta T is your drum temperatures, okay? The first thing I wanna say is always follow your manufacturer's application guide and tech data sheets when installing spray foam. In general, you need to give yourself plenty of time to warm up your drums to meet the requirements for application of spray foam. There are storage temperatures and there are also application temperatures when it comes to your drums. So consider ways that you are warming up your drums in the morning before you install spray foam. Think about drum heaters, think about how is your rig climate controlled, Think about, are you insulated? Do you have a heater installed? Are you keeping your drums maybe off the ground a little bit in order to get some airflow under them? The best advice I can give you is give yourself plenty of time. A 55 gallon drum of chemical takes a long, long time to warm up. Now what you'll see in this example is a drop in temperature of your B-side chemical. In this case, the drums are way too cold and the tip size is too big for this application, which you'll see a drastic drop in temperature. With that, I'm Aaron at IDI. Please like and share, and as always, reach out to your local IDI branch for support. Thanks for watching.